good afternoon, Westside Baptist Church. Your pastor's been praying for you, and, well, I hope you've been praying for your pastor. I would like to go back for a moment to last Sunday on March 15th. That Sunday morning, we had services here at the church. There were three reasons we asked you not to attend. Number one, if you're elderly. Number two, if you had a compromised immune system. And thirdly, if you're a severe diabetic. Everyone complied for the most part. Those that were here were spread out across the uh, auditorium. There was not a lot of close contact. And so based on the information we had at that time, I believed that that was the thing we should do, and we did. <clears throat> By Sunday evening, however, around 6 o'clock, it was reported that the CDC suggested that we should not gather with 50 or more people. By Monday, the president stood up and said that we should not gather with 10 or more people, and then later on the CDC uh, announced that as well. Also, the governor of the great state of Georgia. So, with those things lining up, I believe that we should take steps over the next couple of Sundays, through the month of March anyway, of, of having our church services online. I believe this will be safe for everyone. I believe it is a bit in, in biblical obedience to the authorities, those that have authority over us, as the Bible teaches us in Romans chapter 13. And then praise God in Proverbs uh, chapter 21, we find that God molds and directs the thoughts of the kings, in our case, a president or a governor, and uh, he has guided them and their thoughts uh, to believe that we should not be meeting right now. So 11 o'clock, Sunday morning, tune in, Facebook or online, or you know what I mean by that, and let's have church together. On Wednesday night, 7 o'clock, we'll have church online. I'm going to ask you if you would do this. Don't allow this time apart to let us grow apart. Uh, let's get on the phone. Uh, let's FaceTime one another. Let, let's email and text. Let's use the technology that God has given us to help one another, encourage one another. I appreciate those at the church that have been calling the elderly and saying, hey, do you need anything? Do you want anything? There have been times already where people have gone out, purchased groceries and various items and left them on the doorstep of older church members. So I thank you for doing that. Thank you for being considerate one of another. I hope that this all will be over very quickly. And I believe it will be if we'll just obey the authority that, that God has put, in, put over us. I believe that this thing will be blown over real quickly. So until the end of March, we'll have our services Sunday morning at 11 o'clock online and Wednesday night at 7 o'clock online. When we get to the end of March, We'll reassess and go from there. God bless you, and, know, and again, know this, that your pastor loves you, and we are praying for you. Thank you.